Welcome back. In this video, we will explore the flex wrap property. This property allows us to control how flex items behave when there is limited space within the container. At the moment, our container occupies the full available space. This is because of the flex property set to 1. But what happens when you have limited space to work with? Let me comment out flex 1 and set height, take a look at the UI, and you can see when there is not enough space, the items overflow the container. To prevent this overflow and handle limited space more effectively, we can use the flex wrap property. Within the styles object on the container, I'm going to add a new property called flex wrap. The flex wrap property can accept one of three possible values. The first one is no wrap. And this is the default value. When we check the UI, you will notice that there is no change and the items remain in a single line. If you want the items to wrap within the container, then we set a value of wrap. Now, if we take a look at the UI, we can see the items have been wrapped into the next column. And the wrapping takes place only when needed. If I expand the container height to 600, there won't be any wrapping since there is enough space to accommodate all the items in a single line. The final possible value is wrap reverse. With wrap reverse, Items are placed starting at the end of the cross axis. And instead of items wrapping to the right column, they wrap to the previous column. If we set the height back to 300 and take a look at the UI, we can see wrapping in reverse. Please do not get confused thinking wrap reverse starts wrapping in the reverse order of the items. Item 1 does not move to the right column if the space is inadequate. Wrapping always occurs from the last item. Wrap reverse just pushes items to the previous column instead of the next column. What you should also know is that horizontal wrapping of items is possible. For that, we need to change flex direction to row and we can switch back to flex one instead of the limited height. Now, with flex wrap set to wrap, you can see the wrapping of items to the next row. If I change the value to wrap reverse, the items are placed at the end of the cross axis and items are wrapped to the row above. In summary, the flex wrap property is a valuable tool for controlling the wrapping behavior of flex items within the container. The possible values are no wrap, which is the default, wrap, which wraps the content into the next row or column, and wrap reverse, which wraps the content into the previous row or column. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.